going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, after a very long time, we finally have some official information that is straight from the mouths of the developers about the progress and what's going on with X Define. You know, we've been covering a bunch of stuff recently. I've been trying to put out videos for X Define, but you know, when it's not really much to talk about, you can't really go ahead and do so. Call of Duty, on the other hand, there are just an endless waves of topics and Battlefield 2042. There's brand new content coming to that game. And honestly, there's a lot of things going on with it as well that are game breaking. So it's always stuff to discuss there. But X Define, things have been a little silent recently, and rightfully so. The developers have been trying to, you know, taking all the information from the closed and open beta to put out a good product. But like I said, finally, we have some information. We can go ahead and put out some more content and we can finally talk about X Defiant. But ladies and gentlemen, before we go ahead and hop into the topic of today's video, if you do enjoy what you hear today and you want to go ahead and hear some more content revolving around Call of Duty Battlefield or even X Defiant, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification button. And last but not least, we will be live over on Kick today, checking out the brand new Battlefield 2042 revamped version of Hourglass. Yes, the worst map in the game finally got revamped. I think it comes out today, so we're going to go ahead and check it out. If you guys want to be a part of that process, hang out with the squad, hang out with the whole community, then by all means, tune into the stream. The link to that is down in the description of this video. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, today's information could be taken both in a positive way and in a negative way. Of course, I'm going to leave it up to you guys down in the comment section to share your opinions, but I'm going to cover everything and obviously leave my opinion at the very end of the video. But Mark Rubin went ahead and put out this tweet that pretty much covers a decent amount of stuff that's going on with X Defined and, like I said, possibly some negatives that... People might not like, but at the end of the day, I can find positives out of it as well. Mark Rubin put out the tweet saying, Quick insight into what's going on right now. We are in the process of getting approved by first parties, but because this is our first time getting this version of the engine through CERT, it's going to take a bit longer than usual. Don't worry, as soon as I have more info, I will share it. Also, I know it's been some time since our beta already, and I know usually that means launch is soon after, but for us, as we've done in the past, our betas are real tests and not marketing moments. Normally, a game would already be serting when the beta goes live, but we used our beta as a real test to make the game better. Hope this all makes sense. And then he went ahead and finished off saying, also, this is just an update on the process. Nothing is changing on our anticipated release time frame. Although we are still on track, we won't really know until we get reports back from first parties on our submissions. Now, ladies and gentlemen, basically to summarize this in my personal opinion from what I've seen, there might be some trouble with getting this game out on a specific date. Uh, Mark Rubin does a good job at covering this up, honestly, and he might not be covering it up, but realistically, I think it might be some problems behind the scene, not with them, not with the development of this game, but just with, you know, probably Xbox or so, someone out there who's making it such a long process, a hassle to get everything through. And, you know, at the end of the day, they have to go with the flow of it. They can't fight it. They can't argue with it. All they can do is go with the flow. But the negative information is the release date for X Define might possibly differ. And it might differ in a worse way, better than a positive way, because I know a lot of people are anticipating this game and really waiting for it. Now, again, at the end of the letter, he did say that, you know, nothing is changed on our anticipated release time frame. But like I said, I, I just think that he's trying to keep everybody mellow and relaxed right now, which I completely understand. Uh, but I really do think realistically it might be a little choppy of a road. But at the end of the day, I'll be honest. I know people are going to be a little salty if this game gets postponed. But realistically, I'm going to ask you a question here. Do you want a game that is actually complete, a game that is released properly, that functions that doesn't have bugs, glitches, an absolute mess, a game that doesn't have problems with the hit detection or uh, the servers, or do you want a game that is rushed, that's broken, an absolute mess, the servers are clunked up, the hit detection feels awful, but you're going to play it. You're going to play it right here, right now. You don't got to wait any longer. You don't got to wait an extra month. We can play it right now. Which one would you prefer? Me personally, again, everybody is entitled to their own opinions, and honestly, I guess nobody's really incorrect here, but in my opinion, I want the game that is polished. I don't care how long it takes for X Defiant to come out. I just want it to be good on launch. This is true competition here, and I know a lot of people want it rushed out, including Ubisoft probably. I'm a little scared about Ubisoft because I feel like they're going to force this project out before it's ready just to go ahead and capitalize on the downfall of COD before they can get their next game out and start revamping up Wars and doing all their stuff that they want to do. It worries me. 
But at the end of the day, I want them to be able to put in effort, put in work, and make sure this is just great at launch so we can have something that we can truly play and not have to feel, you know, forced over to Call of Duty if you want an arcade arena shooter. And also, you know, Mark Rubin made a fantastic point in one of his posts here, talking about how their beta is used for testing. I'll actually go ahead and flash up the tweet one last time and read it off to you guys. I know it's been some time since our beta already, and I know usually that means launch is soon after, but for us, as we've done in the past, our betas are real tests and not marketing moments. To me personally, those are direct shots at Call of Duty. <laughs> of course, he's probably talking about the gaming scene in general, but, you know, coming from my uh, my, my field here with COD, yeah, you know, th that's what COD is. We don't get betas where we can build off of the game. We can make improvements. We get betas that are used for marketing and to get pre-order sales up, and that's the massive problem here. It changes the title of a beta to a glorified demo. It's completely wrong, and betas should be used to improve the game before it launches. When Call of Duty comes out with a beta, we should be giving feedback, giving advice, and we do. That's what we do. We go into the beta with those expectations, but all of our feedback goes in the toilet. It's disgusting. Mark Rubin here is saying that, yes, it might take a little time, but it's because our betas aren't the finished product. He's saying that since other games, you know, aren't real betas, they're marketing moments, I'm assuming they can get started more quickly because of the fact that they basically are finished compared to X Define here where it's technically not finished. You no, know, it was a real beta. They wanted to put work into it. It's not a completely finished off product, which means it's going to take a little bit more time in the process instead of doing it the typical, you know, triple A, you know, budgeted business move, you know, uh, the, the same crap that we're being fed with this new live service genre era every single year, you know, and I respect that, and the best part about it is that they have been listening to our feedback, what we say matters, and it feels great knowing that, uh, my opinion, what I think can improve the overall situation here, is potentially bring out another beta, I don't know what would have to be done, you know, obviously I don't know what goes on behind the scenes, and this might be an, an impossible thing to ask for, but of course, like I said, that's what these videos are all about, just giving out personal opinions, that's what the comment section is for as well, giving out your personal opinion, I really do think that instead of rushing out the project, we should just get a third beta. And if they want to treat the third beta as a marketing moment, they can because we've already had two really solid betas. But at the end of the day, I think you should give the players a way to play the game while still knowing that it's in beta form. We'd be more than happy to you know, hop into the experience, buggy or not, absolutely horrible servers or not. Like, are you kidding me? Like, during during the, the main open beta and the closed beta, while the servers were crapping themselves, I was still sitting there happy with a big smile on my face, enjoying the game, grinding it out with you guys on stream. It wasn't a problem. I understood what the situation was, you know? Uh, COD, on the other hand, is unacceptable because, you know, just like how Mark Rubin said, even though he didn't direct it at COD, it's a marketing moment, basically, you know? Uh, the game is beyond beta. It's the real form, and the fact that some of these problems are happening still is just disgusting to me. But... When it comes to X Defiant, you know, we're all open for it. They were open with us. They told us exactly what we're going to get. They told us the exact problems. We played it. We noticed the exact problems. It's fine. You told us already. We'll just sit here. We'll assist where we can assist, and we will try to help to perfect this game. But I think that would be the best direction because it will keep people interested. It could keep people potentially playing, and it could help further improve the game by its official launch to make it an even better product than it already is. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to finish up the commentary on that note. Of course, as always, make sure you go down in the comment section and leave your opinions about how you feel about all this stuff. Are you disappointed that they might potentially have to postpone X Defiant? Or, you know, are you okay with it? Again, I think it's a good thing. Anything to give them more time is fine. And at the end of the day, if it does get postponed, it's not because the game is bad right now. It's not because it's getting screwed over. It's because of the other platforms out there, like Sony or Microsoft, that's making it a pain in the butt for them. So don't worry about how this game is going to turn out, if it's going to be buggy, busted. Give them the time that they need, and they will produce a good product. I know some are worried that they won't be able to compete with God. You know, Modern Warfare 3 will be releasing, and, you know, they're going to wait so long, and by the time that they can even get the game out, it's probably going to be, you know, either the God beta or even the official Call of Duty drop. I I'm not sure. And that is going to be a bit of a problem. But I think this game can survive on its own. It's not a game that needs to be rushed out before another product to be good. You know, people have tried out the beta, and if they didn't like it, they didn't like it. It's as simple as that, you know? But there's a lot of people who did enjoy this game. A lot, a ton. 
it's a very hardcore dedicated you know player base ready to go ahead and dive deep into this game and treat it as almost one of their main titles you know so i don't think there's too much to be worried and if it really does stress you out that much that you think call of duty is going to wipe it clean just remember it's already like a full year's worth of content promised and planned for x defiance and don't even stress at least have a year of this game you know at least pumping out content for you Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, bonus, and hit it, leave a dislike. Also, if you're brand new into the content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell page button. Also, in chat with this, do we do so? I have Twitter and Discord, both in the description. And also, want to catch me with live streams to video games, do over on Twitch. Link those in the description as well. But guys, thanks so much for tuning in. See you on the next one. Peace out.